Hello, welcome to SharePoint journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn what are the tools required for SharePoint 20. So, in this slide, you can see that for development of SharePoint solutions, you need to have Visual Studio, either the latest version of 2013 or 2010, and CKS development tools for Visual Studio. So, this will basically helps the developers to speed the development next one is sharepoint manager 2010 so this is the basic tool while developers need to use it while de developing the sharepoint solutions so you can use it in a lot of ways we'll see uh, all these tools i mean how to use one by one the next one is dot art reflector when you have an assembly and if you don't have a code and if you want to explore more about the code inside that assembly then we will use dotnet reflector the next tool is camel query helper this is basically helps to create camel queries very easily and generate the required code as well and the next tool is sharepoint code check tool now you have built solution using the above tools and now you have to check whether the code which you have written has met the standards or the project standards so that is where the SP Corp will come into picture. The last one in my list is Fiddler. Fiddler is used to capture the web traffic and we will see how to use all these tools one by one. So let's move to the next one. As you all know Visual Studio is a basic tool which will help developers to develop the solutions. And if I go back to the Visual Studio. this is how it looks you can see that you can create a new project from a visual studio and different types of projects and all so i'm not going to explain much about visual studio we'll see more about visual studio while developing the solutions okay and the next one is development tools for visual studio so you can if you go back to the visual studio and while trying to create a new project you can see that you have you can create a console application using that CKS dev tools for Visual Studio and also you can do a lot of other things uh, if you right click the existing project you have quick deploy option using CKS development tool where you can copy only the DLLs to a gag or bin okay and you can recycle the project application pool or restart IAS, restart the user code service. So all these things will be much more faster like when you are debugging the solutions. So let's say you are debugging sandbox solutions so attach your user code process. So this additionals will help us or uh, the developers to improve the development. Okay it basically speeds up the development and the next one is the sharepoint manager 2010 so as you can see in the screenshot it will display the entire form of your sharepoint okay you can see here you have web applications okay administration service under web applications you have timer job definitions ias settings site collections okay web application features so all this information will be available in the sharepoint manager so let's go ahead and open the sharepoint manager this is the sharepoint manager you can see that one of the this is one of the sub site training under this you have all this information okay uh, what are the artifacts are there and what are the fields or the list templates all information will be available and one more good thing is on the right side it displays all the properties of particular object which you are going to select okay and let's say you select a field any one of the field and it will display properties of all that fields okay whether it enforce unique values and 
you can see one more tab called schema.xml so it gives you the schema of that particular field so it helps you to use reuse this schema while developing a custom solutions as well so that we will see in future lessons okay and one more important option you have is when you right click on that particular field or object you have option called delete so you can delete the fields or whatever the nodes which you have from the SharePoint manager itself so you have to be very sure that you are deleting the right one or removing the right one and I would suggest use this particular SharePoint manager in only your development environment sometimes, sometimes what happen by mistakenly you will click on job definitions instead of deleting something else you will delete the all job definition or instead of deleting one list you will delete the entire site collection so whatever you are going to delete here all the below nodes which, is, which are available under training will get deleted so you have to take care of that option okay so it's it's a very cool tool and uh, I mean you can use regularly you will be using regularly this tool while developing the solutions next one is .NET Reflector as you can see that we have added microsoft.sharepoint.dll and it displayed all the internal details of that particular DLL okay so and in the bottom you can see you can see the version uh, details of that particular DLL even what is the framework which is gonna run so all that information let's open the .NET reflector this is the .NET reflector I was talking about so now we have at microsoft.sharepoint.dll so now you want to see the code which is sitting inside let's say SharePoint administration what are the methods which are available and all that information can be you can see like let's go and check what is there in the application pool and what has been written here so all this information you can see using uh, .NET Reflector let's expand this and on password change what has been written nothing nothing is there but you can you can find and update credentials you can see what has been written here so you have only the DLL but you don't know what is there inside how the actions are happening all that information you can find out using .NET Reflector and if you see here you can go back like a browser so you went to on password method and if you for click on forward again you will come back to the method so you have that navigation facility which is available in the dot dot reflector as well so let's go back to the slide and the next tool is camel query helper so whenever you want to retrieve some information from the list or libraries you basically write one of the type of method is writing camel queries and fetching the data so this tool will help you a lot while writing the queries and this can be used to generate the required code for the particular camel query we'll see now so let's open the camel query helper this is the camel query helper let me close it and open it again okay so if you click on cx it will ask which type of way you want to open this tool so i'll use sharepoint object model and click on submit so once you have this tool you can enter your site url and click on load so that on the left navigation it will load all the lists which are available and we have a list called ticket details if i double click on that list it will display all the available columns okay what are the available columns and whether those are required whether those columns are hidden okay what is the title of the column okay what is the type of that column and all those details so if you go to query helper you have all the fields which are there you can sort it those fields and if you come down you have a query tab view fields view attributes okay so if you want to run the query which you have written you can click on search option here so if you click on search 
if you have any results it will come back to the results tab and it will display the respective results so once you have results you have option to export those results okay so, and you have one more cool option here is like copying the code so you can export that camel to C sharp so now we have generated the code and if you go to notepad and paste it here I have the code which is required with respect to that camel query so it's a very cool tool which you can use it while uh, developing or writing the queries with respect to the camel query okay. the next one is SP cop tool so this is basically to analyze the code which you have written and the solutions which you have built so this will be like very useful uh, I mean to improve the performance because a lot of times we might not use the standards which has been suggested by the Microsoft so this will provide a check for the code which we have written so that it will help us and even the SharePoint forms to be more stable okay so let's go ahead and open how this is gonna work I will go to Visual Studio and we have written one solution and to generate the code analysis right click on that particular project click on analyze button click on run code analysis so this code analysis will show if there are any issues with this particular solution so we have simple features so there is no issues has been found but if you have written some code using server object model or client object model then it, it will display the code analysis like whether you have met these standards while writing the code or building the solutions and the next one is Fiddler this is basically useful when you want to capture the traffic like you are getting an issue and you are not sure where exactly the something is getting failed so during those times you will go with the fiddler and you have a lot of advantages as you go ahead in this developer training and you will come to know what are the things which you can done using the fiddler so let's go ahead and see how this will capture the web traffic this is our fiddler tool now let's remove all the sessions now nothing is there and if I go back to my site now I clicked on training site I will come back to the fiddler now you can see what what has been accessed SharePoint journey SharePoint journeys under that the training site has been called so this is how it will capture the details so you can see the statistics by clicking on one of them so how much time it is going to take okay you will have inspectors okay so all this information you can explore and uh, go through it what is happening at, at each and every time so so far we have seen all the tools which you have listed there are many you will you will be using it uh, a lot of codeplex tools are there while uh, developing the solutions those tools also will help so this is the comprehensive list which I have listed here okay we will work on these tools more in future thank you for joining this session we will see you in next lesson